Hello, everyone. It's such a pleasure to be talking to you um, in my studio in Los Gatos on this uh, special occasion of this wonderful fundraiser that New Museum of Los Gatos is hosting um, to support artists and to support art institutions, which is so important at this time. Um, my piece in this show is called Rainbow Scape Number no. 5, and it's an antique photograph that's been embroidered with silk threads. Um, it's part of my hashtag more rainbows series because I found in the middle of this year um, with all of its toxic uh, air and fires burning across California, um, the social justice protests that were being met with such violence, our political turmoil and just, you know, everything, you know, my personal shows um, going virtual or shutting down, um, I needed to pull back and do, instead of doing my very large paintings that are um, social justice and environmental paintings, I went really small and tiny. And I wanted to do something that I could hold in my hand next to the air purifier and not mess with my toxic oils, but just stitch after careful stitch, really meditate on what I was working. And, you know, I thought what I needed was really some connection with joy and hope and rainbows for me symbolize that. And by introducing them back into these antique photographs, I felt there was some kind of like long arc of time connection to a time um, before this and a time after this where you get perspective that this isn't going to last forever and to focus on things that are, are also really important to you, to grounding and um, I also have a tradition of, of uh, crafts women in my family. Um, the embroidery was like my mother and grandmother and grandmother before her did. And so that was a lovely connection too. So I've been doing hundreds of these. Um, this one in particular is special because it's a Santa Clara uh, plum orchard. And I tried to have the rainbow kind of blessing the um, landscape and manifesting again in, in these um, plum blossoms in the lower portion of the photograph in the rainbow kind of ombre hues. So um, can I have the next slide, please? Thank you. Um, you can say there's hundreds, but some of these you can see in the upper left-hand corner are our firefighters fighting fires. And, you know, things that I really looked for in photographs were things that were touching me both in this moment and beyond and in the past. And so they were kind of like little prayers um, and hopes. So the middle one is a redwood forest and has a rainbow road going through it. The one on the right hand side is a woman seeing her rainbow self, um, kind of encountering that as a possibility because I thought rainbows also symbolize inclusivity and, and um, sparkliness and um, potential. And I, I think it's important that we see that in ourselves and in others. The lower one on the left-hand side is um, the, the toxic air that we were having. Um, so it's a rainbow cutting through the smoke. And this last one is a family, uh, two, I think two women friends with their kids um, and, a, and a beautiful joyous uh, blossom tree in full bloom and the rainbow's hitting them and they're in full bloom too. So I wanted all of that to be really, really hopeful. And what's exciting is I'm collaborating with my dear friend, Christiane Conlon, who's this wonderful acclaimed author in Canada who has a lot of novels out. And she, like me, did really big work, but in this pandemic time, she saw these and she thought she would respond to them with small little spare, beautiful verses. And we were collaborating on this series of postcards. So, you know, if you're interested in one, hit me up and I will send me your address and I'll get it off to you. Um, so that's a lovely way to send a person a rainbow. And uh, we're pitching this idea to some publishers too. So they may be hopefully available at a store near you at some point in the future. When this pandemic is over, I plan to have like a whole pop-up that's just devoted to rainbows. Next slide, please. So Modern Midden is a very large oil painting. It was just recently in the De Young Open which is the real highlight of this last year because we actually did get to go in person for a while and such a gift to the community that the Dion gave for Bay Area artists to participate. 
So it's part of my critical mass series, which is an environmental series that deals with our species relationship with other species that we just tear through. So this one is about the endangered queen conch and kind of our footprint, which is symbolized by the flip flop. Um, in the bottom slide, you can see like a slew of my critical masses. Um, I hope to have them in a, a solo museum show in the future, again, when the pandemic is over. Um, and in the middle slide, you can see me in the studio with all of my, my uh, photographs um, from this um, hashtag more rainbow series. And I just wanted to show you a sample of the postcards that we're creating. So this is one of the um, a reproduction of one of my originals. And on the back here, we've got a beautiful line of verse by Christiane. So um, it's been a difficult year, but it's also, there's been silver linings that have been really, really positive. I'm looking forward to getting back to my arts community, seeing a real art in person again. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm purchasing it, oh, sorry. I'm participating in a lot of virtual shows right now. So shout out to I Like Your Work podcast, Photo Trouve um, magazine, and Jen Tuss Art Artist Alliance with their terrain show. It's juried by Carol uh, Dalton. And the I Like Your Work uh, podcast is uh, curated by John Seed. So um, thank you all for tuning in here. And uh, I look forward to hearing all the other artists.